Kenya Power Board has sent five general managers on 60 days leave to pave way for forensic audits. The announcement coming after the Energy Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma conducted a surprise tour of KPLC's power depots as part of ongoing attempts to streamline the underperforming company. CS Juma ordering the repair of over 10,000 faulty transformers to improve provision of power. In a letter from Acting Managing Director and CEO Rosemary O'Dwar, five general managers have been sent on 60 days leave to allow for a forensic audit and the review of the supply chain function. The five managers sent on leave are Engineer Agre Machasio, the General Manager for Infrastructure Development, Engineer Peter Jenga, the General Manager for Regional Coordination, Engineer Charles Mwaura, the General Manager Network Management, Robert Mugo, the General Manager ICT, and Imelda Bore, General Manager Legal Services and Regulatory Affairs and Company Secretary. Engineer Kennedy Owino has been appointed the Acting General Manager, Infrastructure Development. Engineer George Muli, the Acting General Manager for Regional Coordination. Engineer Rafael Ndolo, the Acting General Manager, Network Management. Titus Kitavi is now the Acting General Manager, ICT. And Judo Cheng, the Acting General Manager, Legal Services and Regulatory Affairs and the Company Secretary. Engineer Ariel Mutegi has been appointed Acting Regional Manager, Nairobi. The changes were announced after CS Monica Juma paid the company a surprise visit. It was a difficult, chilly morning for these officers at the Roisambu Power Depot. A CS Juma sought to understand why more than 10,000 transformers were lying here, yet most parts of the country lack power due to the unavailability of transformers. The CS also wanted to understand why more transformers should be procured, yet a good number can be repaired. Over 10,000 transformers that are not functioning. Uh, some of them um, can be repaired and we hope and uh, I've actually given instruction. I'll be receiving a plan for that repair by Monday. Um, there are some that uh, might require um, a, a, some specific skills because it seems that we also have a, a wide range of brands that have been procured over the years. From Roisambu, the CSN Hat team visited the Roiro power installation station and industrial area to assess the metering and how power arrives at the customer's premises. And according to the CS, a lot needs to be done to bring down electricity bills in the country. I have gone through the laboratory or looking at the meters and how they are tested, uh, issues around uh, bypassing uh, the system and how that is being dealt with. Um, I'll be looking to have conversations, frankly, with uh, the suppliers. Uh, because uh, it could be possible that there are areas of concerns in terms of the quality of the meters that are coming to us. Just last week, the CS was at the billing center at the Kenya Power Company in what she said were efforts to understand and engage on how to bring down electricity tariffs as directed by President Uhuru Kenyatta. With Kenya Power's poor performance, the government has been increasingly focused on reviving it. The CS also adding that 59 procurement officials are on suspension as part of an ongoing effort to streamline the company. It is important that we, um, we respond to the mandate that is provided to us. We are supposed to provide reliable, clean, affordable power to Kenyans and to industry. CS Juma took over the energy docket from Charles Keter on the 30th of September this year.